Can I tell you congratulations? First yes, of course. Congratulations. Oh, How oh, fun oh, was oh. it? For the for last days of Ptolemy Gray. Oh, this is this. huge. It's oh. huge, and it was so fun to see you and the cast together, and how exciting everyone was. Like, how, how fun is it to see everybody back together? They all, they all showed up, you know, they showed up, they showed out. It was amazing having them and to have their energy and the enthusiasm that they brought, and, you know, we just loved being together in that environment. And what I've enjoyed so much about talking to everybody tonight is how passionate they are about this project because of the passion you brought to it. <laughs> I'm serious. Because Everybody. of me, I, yes, I never serious. inspire people. What are you talking about? I just kind of show up and do what I do and try and have as much fun as I can and infuse them with my energy when I get to set in the morning. Do you think about that, though, the legacy that you're leaving and how you inspire so many young about actors? that. Uh, well, I'm going to make you think about it right now in this interview. <laughs> how about that? No, I do not. I mean, I, I continue to go out and try and uh, be a shining example of what is possible if you put your mind to it and you have determination and grit and hang in there and this hang stick to itiveness all those things you know can be possible and it's even more possible now than when I started doing it so I applaud all these young people that are out here you know making their mark because of people like you who are oh, trailblazers you. and pave a way for other people to come behind. Well, I hope that's true. Yes, that is, it's definitely <laughs> true. Now, I know people say awards don't mean everything, but when I was doing my research for this, I realized that out of everything that you've done, you never won an Emmy. What would it mean for you to win an Emmy for this when it's such a passion project? I have you? an Emmy. Did I, did I get that wrong? No, come you on. don't have it wrong. Nobody knows. It's just, it's 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 it's, it's one of those obscure Emmys. I was I was a voice over in a Dodger video, and the video won an Emmy. So they sent me one. I was shocked. I was like, an Emmy? My name? I, I was shocked. But yeah, I have one. What would it mean for you to get one for this? Because I know how I I know how how meaningful this you is. You know, it's just validation that I chose a project that uh, made sense to um, a lot of people, hopefully, and that I embody Ptolemy with the life that I always wanted to give him and made him a character that's memorable for uh, audiences and that touched them in a very real and honest kind of way. So yeah. hopefully that's I told you this before, but I'm really excited for so many people to see it because I think it's going to resonate with them on so many levels. There's so many strong messages in this yeah, series. it's amazing. You know, it's kind of like back when I did Gator, when I was a crackhead, it's like so many people had uh, had, had crackheads in their family. <laughs> It's kind of like I was, I was everybody's son, cousin, <laughs> nephew, brother, somebody that came in the house and stole something, you know, or took some money from him. And, uh, and uh, un unfortunately, Alzheimer's dementia touches a lot and a lot and a lot of people. Yeah. So everybody, almost everybody knows somebody who's had it or somebody whose family was touched by it or something. So hopefully they won't be triggered by it and they can stick with the story and see the, see the happy parts yes. also. You gotta get past the first episode. Yeah, it's it's the tough. First it's tough. It's tough. Now you mentioned having an obscure Emmy. So we've. I mean, you've done audiobooks, video games, theater, film, television. Is there anything? And I know not podcasts. We've been there. We've been on that road. Is there anything you haven't done yet that you want to do? No, not really. I, mean, I don't know what's new. Yeah, you know, way back when they used to have us sign contracts and they said, you know, uh, things that aren't known, known and unknown, and da 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 da. And, Nobody knew the internet was coming. Nobody knew that streaming was coming. Nobody knew that, you know, who knows? They might be doing, uh, you know, movies in space at some point. Would you I go to space? Part of that. Would you go to space? I'm not trying to go to space, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm digging it right here. No, ain't nothing happening out there I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. I agree yeah. with you. Okay, last thing I will say to you. We have a correspondent who just had a child, and he's having trouble going to sleep. Lil Ethan is his name. Now, he's you have trouble going to the, sleep. the child. Well, the both, child probably both. both. Yeah. But I know you have a child's book. <laughs> <laughs> if you could give a message to Jen, unfiltered, what would you tell that child to go to sleep? Uh, just, just hold the baby, rock him gently, and whisper in his ear. You being nice. Go to, f to sleep. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.